everyone welcome to automation community in this section we are going to see about latching so before entering into the topic kindly like and subscribe our youtube channel for more updates so latching is one of the interesting topic in plc programming so let's see what is the you know logic behind this latching and what is the use of that and how to do that in the cs programmer so i'll just take a help from one push button and one relay so now i am going to turn on a relay using this push button so what is the function of push button so once you press it will make a contact if you release the push button it will break the contact correct so push button is like while you press your output will be on if you release output will be off so if this is the working of push button why in industries and uh, in all automation industries why people are using push button so if you see most of the input device i mean as a switch people will be using push button only so there is a logic should be there no to make the uh, you know output remains in on condition so how come we can press the push button all the time to make the output there should be some concept which is called as latching so if you press the input and even though if you release it output will be in on condition only so this is called as latching so but how they are performing how to get this concept done even though if i release the push button how the output is remains in on condition that's what we are going to see how to do that so let's see this is the start let's take this as a push button so this is a push button and we have output here which is a relay okay let's take this l as positive rail and this n as negative rail so positive supply is coming from push button and negative supply is there from relay so to turn on the relay we have to press this push button and that's what we are pressing and once you press this your relay is in on condition correct so now if you release if you release it your output will go off correct but if you turn on again if you do the proper arrangement if you do one parallel contact of relay in parallel to start button i mean start push button you can able to make the relay on even though start is not on so if you see the next slide even though if you release the output remains on using this so how to do that i'll see so let's take one small example let's instead of relay let's take you are going to turn on a motor using one push button if you turn off that push button your motor should be in on condition so let's see how to do that i'm going to take one push button 0.01 and i'm naming this as pb1 let's take pb2 okay so i have one push button and i have one motor over here that's it connect so this is a normal one one push button one output so let's go to the simulation mode right okay so now i'm pushing the push button on and i'm releasing my hand output is off so this is how actually the working of push button right how the push button works if you press it will contact if you release output is off but my output have to be in on condition even though if i release push button and that concept is called as latching so latching nothing but making a parallel route okay once your output is on no and using that turning on you are using one more extra contact and that contact is named as same as your output i'll show you here going to give the same address of your output see this is programming so it is not that 
or uh, using one more uh, input as output not not like that just a minute Read this. Okay. So look, I have one input only and one output only. But in your logic, you are using one contact and naming that as your output. Why I am naming this as output? Because the output is going to turn on for some seconds. No. So in that some seconds, this coil will get turned on. Correct. So I will show you in the simulation. Look, now push button is off, output is off. I am going to turn on a push button and before that check out this also. 100.005 is off because this is same as this no. Correct. So your output. So I am going to turn on a push button. I am going to press it. Your output is on. Because of your output is on. Since this contact is also sharing the same address of your output, this is also on. Okay. So you just turn off your input and your output is still on because of this contact. So this coil is called as a latched contact okay, or seal in contact. We also call this a seal in contact. That means you are taking the same ID I and mean same address of the output and putting that in parallel to the input. So if you since you have put that as in parallel even though your input the main input is off, your output contact will give you a power supply to turn on your output coil. So this is called as latching. So just check out here, this is input, this is output contact. No. So if you see the PPT, you can see here relay on and NO contact of relay. Okay. So now look, we have a push button. And now we have a NO contact of relay which is connected in parallel with the switch push button. Okay. So once you press the switch, your relay will on no, and that relay memory contact is also on. Right. So now what will happen? Power is coming from this route and power is also coming from this route also. So if you cut down this route, what will happen? Power will take this route. That's it, no simple. See? If you if you have removed the contact, see it is taking this route so that the relay is in on condition. So this is called as latching. So this is very very important in the PLC programming. I hope you have understood this logic. So I'll meet you in the next session. Before that, like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. Thank you.